assist on the Michael Jackson investigation in <laughs> with breaking news on the autopsy. But first, Brad and Angelina back on the red carpet, and Kevin Frazier is there. Pit, goatee, aviator specs, so cool. Slave to fashion, baby, from the slave to fashion. Angelina, sultry, skin-tight black leather, the kiss from her man. Brad Pitt with perhaps the best entrance ever on Hollywood Boulevard. How much fun was that just to walk up and kind of freak those people? Always good, always good. It is all for the premiere of Inglorious Bastards out August 21st. Brad, bad and bold as a take-no-prisoners Nazi killer. Yes, 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 yes. How much fun was it making this and, and creating these characters? As my kids say, it didn't suck. Angie on his arm, Quentin Tarantino, his director. So what was Quentin Tarantino? Tarantino's wall of shame and just how did Brad end up on it? The wall of shame is if you fall asleep on the set, we put a big purple sex toy, all right, in your face, all right, while you're sleeping and we snap a photo and then it goes on the wall of shame. It discourages sleeping on the set. Also at the premiere, Pitt's co-star Diane Kruger, whose stunning blacklist Versace almost came undone right on our ET platform. It is always fun when you have the uh, wardrobe malfunction right in front of entertainment tonight. I know. Thank you. I enjoyed it. I hope you did. Already getting buzz, the performance of Christoph Waltz as an evil Nazi colonel. It's easy to hate you in this movie. I love to be hated. But the night belonged to Angie and Brad. Pitt telling us he'll work with Tarantino again. He wrote True Romance a long time ago. I'm predicting prequel. Yeah? He's got a prequel. Do you get them? I'm, I'm going. I'm in. Boy, I tell you, that Brad Pitt is one busy guy. Six kids. Five movies in the works, and he's still building homes for victims of Katrina. Now, a little more Hollywood family news for you. Here is a brand new shot of Mama J Lo out with her twins Max and Emmy. The three were spotted in France. Michael Jackson news to report, and the latest headlines breaking in this continuing story. Here is what we know right now in our ET investigation. New details just released today. Michael's autopsy has been finalized. The coroner's report has been written, including what caused Jackson's death on June 25th. But the report has been put on an indefinite security hold. The far-reaching investigation of Dr. Conrad Murray, other doctors, and hospital workers is still active. Just today, there was a raid on a pharmacy in Las Vegas. Agents looking for more proof connecting Murray to prescriptions for Michael Jackson. An official reportedly said agents uncovered evidence that Dr. Murray legally purchased the anesthetic propofol there. Yesterday in court, it was Michael's mom, seen here in a recent photo surrounded by family, asking for control over footage shot at Michael's comeback rehearsals. The court denied the request, but approved the sale of the footage. Under previously agreed to terms, 90% of the profits the footage earns will go to Michael's estate, with 10% going to AEG. But the biggest news from court was about Michael's three children. A judge has now decided that Prince Paris and Blanket need their own representation in court, since their best interests might conflict with their grandma Catherine's. Some court watchers believe three separate guardians ad litem should have been appointed and not just one. Michael's ex-wife, Lisa Marie Presley, is said to be still in mourning and finding comfort in a new friend, Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York. According to a new report, the two have become close, and Lisa Marie, her husband Michael Lockwood, and their children visited Fergie's family in Spain. And will one of Michael's sisters join ABC's Dancing with the Stars? According to Us Weekly on Stan's Friday, 53-year-old Latoya is in serious discussions to join the cast. The list of competitors will be announced on Good Morning America on Monday. And we will continue to update the Jackson stories on our ET website. Just go to etonline.com. Aquamom is back in the news, and the new footage will make you say, we told you so. It is the Nadia Suleiman documentary, Screaming Babies and All. Optimum and her world's famous infants, nearly seven months after their headline-making births. Feet kicking, arms flying, beautiful little bundles kept under wraps from the public until now. For Optimum, the incredible unseen footage airing August 19th on Fox. And Nadia's startling confession. Was this a mistake? It's a mess I have for you because of myself. Because I see my older kids and how they're negative. Then I resent myself. 
I need help. I need help. Only E.T. was in the middle of the melee with Nadia last March when she brought the first two babies home from the hospital. Did anyone tell you there were so many people outside? No, I had no idea. And inside the house when the newborns first met their six siblings. Can you believe how soft they are? And how little their hands are? I saw you touching these little hands. But how much of a struggle have these last few months been? Nadia under the scrutiny of the paparazzi, but then making a deal for a reality show in the UK. The new interview is telling. Well, I screwed up my life. I screwed up my kids' lives. Well, what the heck am I going to do? I have to put on this strong facade and I have to pretend like, oh, I don't regret it. Ah, oh, but does she regret having eight children? Nadia answers that question and... We take you back to more of our exclusive with Octomom. Oh Thea feeding the newborns inside the nursery the day they came home. Plus, spray tanned and strutting. Are these pint-sized pageant queens too sexy too soon? CSI Miami's new hunk, Eddie Sibwin. His first TV interview about his rumored affair with Leanne Rimes. If you could clear up one misconception, what would it be? Neil Diamond, then and now. Hi, E.T. Welcome to the Brooklyn Bridge. Your first look at Neil's new TV special. Yes. Hey, 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 should I? Look at Kristen Bell looking for love in her new romantic comedy, Wed in Rome. When it comes to love, I've never had too much love. The man of her dreams could be Josh Janelle. Uh, it's my bad. I'm next, by the way. But getting in the way of magic spell. If you throw in a coin, you find love. So maybe if I take a few, like you... And you, and you, some of the magic will rub off on me. If you take someone's coin from the fountain, they will fall in love with you. That is ridiculous. Have any men come on to you since the wedding? Yeah, I've seen that look before. You're intimidated because I'm a model. Whoa. Yes. But is Josh's love real? You think you're real charming, don't you? Okay. Find out next January 29th as when in Rome hits theaters. <laughs> I was just thinking about you. Oh. In an emergency, 99% of people run away from the danger. These are the people that run directly into it. God, I love my job. We're working on everything we can to save your boy. I, I have survived. Hell, I'm fine. But somehow, I'm still here. Trauma. A new series this fall on ABC. Moms, lock up your daughters because we've got the new trailer for Twilight New Moon hitting theaters November 20th. Bella, I won't ever hurt you. I promise. <laughs> Need a new car? Hurry to Toyota's national clearance event. Now, lease a 2009 Toyota Tacoma for only $129 a month for 60 months with trade-in voucher. See your Toyota dealer today. Walt Disney Studios presents a Studio Ghibli film. A creature who longed to be human and a boy in search of adventure. She might be magic. Will form a friendship powerful enough to save the world. Wow. Ponyo, ready to Gold Treasure Gold is one of those national gold buying companies. Go see our friends at the Golden Dinosaur. Thanks, Ron and Ian. This example shows how we pay three to five times more than a national gold buying company. If you can't make it in, call or visit GoldenDiamondSource.com for your free gold buying kit.